Hello Beauty News family, welcome to this week's episode of Beauty News, this is the 31st of May edition. Where Aussies, the hell did May I know, go? get ready for tax time Aussies. Oh yeah, and winter. Yeah. And winter, it'll be here tomorrow, <laughs> but it feels like it's here right now. True, <laughs> very true. Um, so in this series we talk about new release beauty products and updates of things that we've talked in the past. So this is all stuff that's popped up in the last week. We're going to start with updates. We're yeah, going to start there's with... There's a lot of them. There's a lot. It's a vast majority of what we'll be talking about today, and it's probably most of the interesting stuff as well. That is very true. We're going to start with ABH and Alyssa Edwards. Yes. So we saw last week, when we filmed, uh, we just saw that something was coming. Yeah. Um, and now they... They exposed everything mm. within 24 hours. I was like, man, you couldn't do that 24 hours earlier, so we yeah. could deal with this last week. Mm. Um, but we've seen the palette, yes. and it's not just the palette that's releasing. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll talk about the palette, palette first. So it's got bright pink packaging. So it's got about six sort of neutral shades. There's a black and white in there. There's four browns. And the rest is color, and it's quite bold color. Yeah. They're, they're not mucking around. I get vibes of... Um, their last palette, the, what was it called? Riviera? Uh, Riviera palette, yeah. Because the Riviera had a bright purple and a bright pink. I mm. think these are a little bit deeper in shade. So I think if you bought this, there won't be double ups. But I almost feel like that they've fucked over this palette by releasing the Riviera mm. with those colours. Because the Riviera... Two colourful palettes within the space of, I don't know... Look, it feels like Riviera came out last month. It, it does wasn't. feel like that. It probably yeah. wasn't. I think it was a couple of months <laughs> it ago. Was, yeah. But this has been in the works for quite some time. Mm. So was probably the Riviera. I feel like they could have tweaked it just so it doesn't feel like you're buying. Like, I'm torn at the moment. I really want this palette because mm. I really like the collaboration. But there's part of me going, oh, I've got some of these colors in the Riviera. Yeah. Like, it's a bit it's a bit funny yeah but i actually like this probably more than the riviera because i like the deep berry tones in it mm. um still don't like the black and white that can go yeah to i just don't i don't need it in see my the point in doing that there's a black in like all of their damn palettes and a dark brown yeah the riviera was screaming for a navy and they gave you a dark chocolate brown yeah and i don't i mm, mm, mm. Mm. Anyway, along with that release, uh, they're actually releasing a mirror and also a fan. So this is this was sent out in like PR kits, but um, you could also buy them as like merchandise. This is already out when you're watching this, so hopefully you got the memo from last week and you got our Instagram memos and everything, so you could purchase them if you wanted them. Um, but they've also released an eyeshadow primer. Mm. So this is releasing on the 6th of June uh, and it was had early access at DragCon along with the palette and the sort of merchandise. This is sort of like a light nude tone, really opaque primer. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's more to do with you can black out your eyelids if you've got lighter skin, but also if you've got deeper skin, the colors of the palette really pop. Yeah. So I feel like they probably released it at a decent time because this is their most colorful palette yet so mm. um you know if you did want to get the most color out of it the primer works i feel like they should have done a primer a while ago because their eyeshadows have been their biggest selling product for yeah years now i agree i'm surprised they didn't do it sooner yeah maybe they've been trying to perfect the formula well hopefully it's i have perfect. high expectations for that primer yeah i would have liked to have seen different shades as well to be yeah. fair but what do you think about this palette? Look, I don't know. I want to buy it because collection. Um, and also, I, I do like the idea of the collaboration. Like, I don't really know the drag queen that well, but I like it. Um, but I'm a bit like you. One, I've already got a bright palette from AVH. Two... How often do I wear it? I've had it for months. Never used it once. <laughs> See, I've I've I did a review on it um, this week, so I've been forcing myself to use it for I think five days. Mm. And I actually thought the best colours in there were the bright pink and bright purple. Yeah, they actually perform really well, and the other colours are really muted. And whenever you pair them with the pink and purple, they disappear. Yeah. So I feel I was my sort of conclusion of that review was. Um, they should have gone more colourful. Right. Like, to actually make it a fun palette and not just a, a couple of colours dominate the palette, mm. they should have gone with 
and I actually suggested maybe like a Tiffany matte blue, yeah. a lemon matte yellow, and like a cobalt blue. And even though those aren't all in here, some of them are. Yeah. And I actually think this would be more fun than that than the Riviera. Yeah. So to be real, like I'll probably buy it. If I knew this was coming, I probably wouldn't have bought the Riviera so quickly. Yeah, I probably would have just fair. waited because what interest me, what it did interest me about the Riviera has this, this is has in spades. Yeah. And I don't feel like I need them both, but like you, completion, mm. I want them. And I love Alyssa Edwards. Yeah, right. I actually think she's fab. She's very funny. All right. Ace Beauty. Yes. Mm. We have the Oceanic Palette. She's here, she's available now, and she's selling for $38.99 US. That's a an interesting number. <laughs> it is a very interesting number. $38.99. No, uh, couldn't make it $39. No, don't just do that. Round it up one cent. $38.99 makes you feel like it's a bit cheaper. Eh, not really. Not really. <laughs> um, I actually really love this palette. Yeah. Um, I think this is... I've seen so many blue palettes, so many green palettes, so many blue and green palettes come out recently. None of them have really interested me to the to the point where I want to buy them, mm. um, except for this one. Um, yeah, I see some. Look, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be that person and be like, I've never been big into the hype of the blue and green palettes mm -hmm. simply because I know they don't really suit my coloring. I know blue looks great on me on camera, but in person it makes me look like. Something out, of a, something out of a horror movie. Like, yeah. it actually, it does really strange things to the tones in my skin. Mm -hmm. So it makes me overall look a bit creepy. Cor corals and peaches tend to do that to me yeah. as well. It sort of makes me look green and ill. Yeah, yeah. it's the undertones in yeah. the skin. But I, if I was going to buy a blue and green palette, this is the one that I would buy. I agree. Because I can see things that I want to do with this palette just by looking at it. And what I think is really great about this, and this is what I keep banging on about when I review palettes and people are like, you expect too much. It's a green palette. It's supposed to be all green. And I'm like, yeah, but there needs to be nuances in the tones. Yep. So what I love about this is you can see that the first three shimmers you could use as a highlight, mm -hmm. an inner corner highlight. Then you have brighter mid-tones and sort of more murky mid-tones. And then you have deep shades, like the shade Pacific or Lagoon. Mm -hmm. You have like a blackened what is that, a teal, a black and, and, teal and also yeah. like a navy blue, you can actually create complete looks yeah. using this one palette. Yeah. I can't stand having to reach for another palette for a highlight or another palette as my yeah. outer corner depth color. I've never been a two palette kind of girl. No, neither I have I. just don't do it. I'm okay with all color. Yeah. I'm okay with all color as long as there is the variation in the color mm. that allows me to not only get a variety of different looks but also complete the look that I want to create. But what I also love about this, besides the murky sort of olive tone greens, which I have been all about for the past year, um, I really love the sort of periwinkle blues. Yeah, I like this palette. And I... Mm. Are we placing an order, Hayley? Well, here's the thing. Like, <laughs> I kind of want to because it's the first blue and green palette that's actually... That I've looked at and I've gone, this is probably one of the most well thought out palettes I've seen in this color story ever All I right? agree this is I totally a agree. really smart palette um, but I also have to remember okay I will use it to play with it but I don't wear blue or green eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow for a reason so mm -hmm. I I know that I would be going into this purchasing it just for the play factor and it yeah. would never see a lot of use from me but I'm gonna say this I also want to buy this because one, it inspires me. Two, I'm very cu curious about the Ace Beauty um, formula. I and I think if you can get a blue and green formula right, you are probably like you can get you other kicking goals. Yeah, you can yeah. get other colors right as well. So I'm tempted. I'm actually quite tempted. Thirty eight ninety nine. Yeah, <laughs> mate, she's she's under thirty nine dollars. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a bargain. Um, no, but I actually think even I look at this and I even look at something like um, the Jeffrey Star uh, Blue, Blue Blood, Blood palette, yeah. 
and people were just like, oh my God, if you like blues, buy the blue blood palette. I see more variation in the few blues that they've got in here than yep, in that I whole agree. palette. I agree. And that's why I think this is smart. It's got cool undertones. It's got warm undertones. You look at Bali versus Fiji. Oh. Periwinkle, almost purpley blue versus like... Uh, Fiji is sort of like a mint yeah. mix with a periwinkle. Yeah. It, and it is. It's similar to a Tiffany. Yeah. They're, they're so, there's so much versatility yeah. here. Something else that I like about this palette is I don't look at any of these shades and go, oh, they're going to look the same on the eye. I think the only ones that are borderline are Bay and Bora Bora. Yeah, and I although agree. one is darker than the other, once they're on the eye, it's going to take a very keen eye to spot the difference between the shades. Yeah. Otherwise, oh, actually, and I will say, same goes for Anemone and Jellyfish. I feel like I'm analysing this palette yeah. to the yeah. shit house, but it's because I think it's a very smart palette, and I think I want to buy it. Yeah, I think it's great. All right, we talked last week, and I think the week before we sneak peeked this, uh, this was the Chi Chi Pride palette. Now, in the last episode, this was revealed after we filmed, so it was part of the like post-filming update. It's already available. This is an Australian brand. Um, it is 49 Australian dollars, which is not too bad. It's pretty good for a desk palette. For a palette that I think it was <laughs> something like 42 shades. Yeah. It was massive. But um, I actually quite like this from Chi Chi. I, if I wanted a rainbow palette, an affordable one, I would probably look at swatching this in store. Yeah. Um, when we <laughs> did start, when because last episode there was a lot of talk about pride and rainbow palettes mm. and they were all it seemed like brands were capitalizing on the fact that june is pride, pride month. month yeah all um, brands do that they all capitalize on things yes yeah. but um, i did want to point out that i did a bit of research because it wasn't very apparent when they first showed this on instagram mm -hmm. but they are donating 10 percent of the proceeds so 10 percent of the proceeds of this palette are going to support minus 18 and national LGBTI health alliances. So um, it does go to charity. And I think that is important. A lot of people were feeling like brands were capitalizing on something that they don't have the right to capitalize on, or especially when it's a minority of people that have gone through a lot of struggle. And then all of a sudden it's cool to use that as marketing. Yeah. Like brands sort of have to give back to make it, work mm. um so this one they do and we will talk about a few other ones that do as well but i just wanted to update that because a few people were like how dare brands capitalize and i do totally understand that yeah. but at least they're giving some back i think 10 percent of proceeds they should be giving more i agree but at least some is going towards something yeah all right color pop uh we've got the blue palette this is the blue moon palette it's available now yeah they dropped this, Cheeky mm. Bastards, a couple of hours, I think three hours before our last Beauty News episode aired. Damn you guys. You can't just send us a little bloody, like, heads up, can you, Colourpop? Just an email. Hey, guys, we're releasing this palette. We know you film on Tuesdays. Yeah. We know you don't know that we film on Tuesdays, but you, you should know. You know now. <laughs> We've been talking about you guys for years. That's true. Give us a break. Uh, so anyway, we have a nine pan uh blue eyeshadow palette oh my god i shouldn't do that bobblehead thing telling you off because it just gave me a stiff neck <laughs> <laughs> poor old lady i am an old lady um what are your thoughts look i don't care for it yeah I've, I've seen a lot of people really excited but yeah. this is where i see there's no color variation yeah, i just don't look i wouldn't even with ColourPop being so affordable, I wouldn't buy this because of so many things that I've already mentioned in this video. Blue looks bad on me. Also, yes. not enough variety. It's not even variety. It's, I don't know. It's, it's to do with color and how it looks on the eyes when it's sitting next to similar colors, yeah, of, they, like in that color family. It all muddies together yeah, into yeah. one color. Yeah. I do think that it's good that they've got the highlight color, they've got some mattes, they've got some shimmers, they've got yeah. some deep colors. So you do get the complete look, which I really appreciate. Um, but similar to you, these tones are blue, um, unless I'm wearing them as a pop of like just along the lower lash line or something. 
Um, they're not, it's not the most flattering blue on a lot of people. When it works, it looks fantastic. Yeah. But if I was to buy a blue palette, um, it would need different tones and different Needs undertones be, going yeah. on. Yeah. But, um, I do think it's great that they've gone there though, because I know a lot of people want more blues. Yeah. Um, and if you didn't want to buy a fairly expensive Jeffree Star palette or you didn't yeah, want to support absolutely. Jeffree Star, this is a very affordable think, way to do and it. Like I say this about all ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. Some of their formulas are great, some are not so great. But yeah. if you want to explore the blue on you and see how it looks on you, then it's a really good place to start because yeah. it is affordable. And if you find out you're like me and it makes you look like a corpse, it's okay. It's only $12. Yeah. And it, or if you find that the colors really suit you, but the formula is a little bit patchy or it's not quite what you want. Yeah. You can then level up to exactly. a, a you more, can invest. Or slightly. Yeah. You can invest yeah. In, yeah. in something that will hopefully work a little bit better. But so yeah, I don't think it's bad. I just wouldn't buy it myself. No, I agree. No. All right, update on the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Lipsticks. Mm. When we spoke about this last week, we only had a black and white image, um, and then the next day we saw more, so we did put more information on the screen. Um, but this is just expanding the range. So it's the Icons Collection. Um, there's two nudes, two pinky nudes, two pink shades, and two reds. So... Prior to this, this lipstick formula it only came in a variety of nudes and now they're just fleshing out the tones. What I do like about this is they've gone, so they call them ultra beiges. Um, there's a cool toned and a warm toned. Uh, the pretty pinks, there's a cool toned and a warm toned. The bright pinks, there's a cool tone and a warm tone. And the classic reds, there's a cool tone and a warm tone, which I think is a really good way to flesh out the range. You're covering a lot of bases. And um, even though I haven't tried these and I'm a little bit skeptical of them because of her orgasmic, you know, ad that she did that was really cringe. Um, oh, it's so amazing. Oh, so creamy. Like that would just put me off. Oh my God, this feels so amazing. Oh, it's so intense. And so smooth. Oh my god. I'm not supporting that. <laughs> no, but uh, I have heard people say that these are a, quite a good formula. Are so... they orgasmic? You tell us in the comments. Yeah, you let us know. Have you tried them? Did it give you an orgasm? And if it did... I'll buy one. <laughs> I might buy one. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but there's another Huda release that we'll talk about we'll in the We'll talk new about stuff. it in a yeah. minute. But um, those lipsticks are out. They're out now. Yeah. You can get them. Let's talk about Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. So it looks like we have a collection of just nude lipsticks. Uh, how many did it's you... There's 20. 20 nude, nude. N nude. Nude. <laughs> well, they new are. Nudes. Yeah. They're new nudes. So True. they are nudes. Um, and... Yeah, I don't have anything more to say beyond that. <laughs> so um, the lipsticks are eighteen dollars each. There's going to also be lipstick trios. Mm. So these are going to be forty nine dollars for a set of three. Um, so you can either have the nude mood pack, which you get nude AF, Amaze Balls, and Obsessed nude moment that has the uh that girl sophia and perfectionist mm -hmm. nude tease is the pack that has fussy control freak and hot toddy and magna nude uh it has ambition independent and bad ass um so you can get trios and i they sort of like grouped in color families you can also get the full 20 uh collection for 295 us dollars um, they do ship internationally and they get free shipping, I think, domestically if you spend $45 or over. So that's the way it works. Um, by the time you're watching this, they're already launched. And look, I'm going to say I don't I don't hate this. Um, a few people are a little bit, uh, they don't like this and that's totally fair. But I think this is quite on brand for Jaclyn Hill. I think so And too. I think if she creates a nice formula, she did say that it's a really like moisturizing formula and that when you take it off, your lips are actually really soft and okay, they yep. put a lot of effort into that, which I think is great. But she's known for nude lips and like yeah. orange eyes. So this makes a lot of sense. I always associated her with liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. Mm -hmm. So I'm a bit surprised that she went this avenue. 
but um, this is more of a, I think, wildly, widely accepted sort of lipstick yeah. avenue rather than a liquid lipstick and a gloss. Um, and I think the variation's quite good. There's different undertones. Um, there's really light. There's really deep. There's some purple toned ones. There's some even like brownie yellow tone ones, mm. which I really like. Like Gossip looks really interesting. There's like grayish nudes. So I think she's always said, as far as I have heard a few people say, um, that there's not enough nudes in um, lipstick shades. So brands will bring out like three nudes, mm. but that's not enough for to meet everyone's sort of requirements. So I this think, makes sense. Okay, I think that statement is factual if we go back two years when she was going to release this collection. True. But these days, we do see a lot of brands bringing out huge nude lip collections. Not 20, though. And I think when they when brands do release nude lipsticks, like let's just take the Huda ones, for example. Yeah. I think she released five and then she added two nudes to it. So she's yeah. still only got seven in that but range. But if we look at brands like Bare Minerals, they have huge gen nude collections yeah, and stuff. Yeah, that's true. But the, I think that's the exception, not the rule. Like yeah. MAC has a massive nude lipstick range and they've been adding to that for decades. Mm. But if you do just look on the face of it, you go in and you look at, um, I don't know, Marc Jacobs or Kat Von D or whatever it might be, they'll still only have a, few. a fraction of the collection being nudes. So I, I, you don't often see people bring out 20 nudes at once. So I do think this is a point of difference in the market, which is really smart. Um, but I think the, the, I think where you're coming from and where, and I agree with you is that everyone at this point in time is going to have multiple nudes in their collection. So is this going to be something that everyone needs to add to their co collection? Heck no. And do you definitely need to buy the whole range? Heck no, because unless you're a makeup artist, you will pick a couple of shades that are your perfect nude and um, then move on with your life. Mm. So I feel like this is on brand. I think it's different from the highlighters and the eyeshadow palettes that all the other influencer sort of brands have released. So I think it, she's done a smart move and I still feel like she probably wanted to start with eyeshadows, but then yeah, it was too idea. saturated yeah. and so she pulled back and did the lipsticks. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, I think this is going to do well for her. Absolutely. Of course it'll do well for her. She still has a big following of people who love her. Yeah. Um, I just think there's going to be, you know, obviously people who are a bit anti Jacqueline and they're going to be talking shit about this release yeah but that's you know that's gonna be that's always the, the internet case. yeah it's always the case from jeffree star uh the lip gloss it's coming and at the time of filming this um it'll be up like in a couple of hours for you guys um when this goes live but at the time of filming this he hasn't actually shown the lip gloss he's meant to be showing it tomorrow while we're filming this so yes so while we're thanks, talking, thanks Jeffrey. Yeah, Pay thanks. attention. Yeah. You and bloody ColourPop. I know, making it hard for us. Um, so as we're talking, we're in the dark about the shade range, mm. but we will have um, photos on the screen, and we will yeah. update you next week. And what we do know: eighteen shades, two formulas. One is called a glitter fancy, a fantasy, and one's an extreme shine. Uh, they're going to retail for eighteen dollars each. Yeah, and we do have one video as of filming this. Uh, it's a pink and it's got like an almost iridescent purple mm. to it. So, so yeah, they're not gonna. It's not gonna reinvent the wheel. I think a lot of people as well are sort of of the mind that lip glosses are lip glosses, and you don't need to spend eighteen dollars on a lip gloss. Um, but you know, there are people that love Jeffrey Star Cosmetics, and, and they'll buy it. They will buy the crap yeah. out of this. So yeah. uh, there we go. All right, last week um, in the sort of added in section, uh, I mentioned a new Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, and this is the Sunrise palette, so it looks like it's a sister to the Sunset palette. Mm. Um, and Natasha Denona revealed this uh, four days before the official reveal, and it sounded like either there were leaks where people shared photos or people stole products and we're trying to sell it and we're trying to sell them and then she said that they managed to keep it under the rug but then one of their resellers put it up on sale by mistake mm. um and that was 
Feel Unique. As of editing last week, it was already up on Feel Unique. Mm. So Feel Unique did a naughty here. They released this early. So it looks like now Feel Unique has taken it down, but there was a period of time where you could buy this very easily. It also looks like this is cheaper than the other large palettes. Mm. So whether that was, once again, a mistake or whether they've dropped their prices dramatically. So it's a bit confusing um, because this does contain slightly less than, for example, the Tropic palette, but only a couple of grams less. It's not like they're half size pans no. or anything. So I don't know mm. if it was a miss quote. I don't know. But if this is cheaper, I can see a lot of people using this as their first Natasha Denona palette. Yeah. I kind of like this palette. I like it too. My issue is I don't really like Natasha Denona formula. I think it's, it's hit or miss. Yeah. I think for the price, it should be a bit more reliable. Um, but this is such a Haley palette. See, what I love about this is that it reminds me a lot of the Huda Desert Dusk, mm. but um, a little bit warmer, so more yellows thrown in. I, I like this more than the Sunrise... No, Sunset? Sunset. Sunset yeah, palette. Sunset palette. Um, I've got that one. Yeah, so I like this a lot more. It's more something that I can see myself delving into. The only thing I sort of annoys me about this is the two columns of I know. nudes. I don't know why they bother. Yeah, I just feel... And I feel like in the swatch... They've swatched it along the rows so you can't see the nudes next mm. to each other because if you did, you'd see how redundant they are. Um, but I think this is a beautiful colour story. That's the case with a lot of her palettes, though. Yeah. I find that there's shades in there that don't need to be there. They could be swapped out for other things that really improve the, the colour story. Yeah. Because um, this has two shimmers, like the two highlight shimmers that mm. will look very similar on the eye. Yeah. And if I just chucked in a dark purple instead of one of those, all of a sudden it's made it even smokier. Mm. And I feel like you can, especially with palettes this size, you need to push it a little bit to get as much versatility in that palette so people don't feel like they, oh, I've got to reach for this when I'm going for my one pink and, you know, yellow look. Mm. People want to be able to reach for these palettes for going to work, going to church, going to the shops, going to, going to a bloody drag show. People want to be able to wear this in multiple different Absolutely, ways. Absolutely, for the price you're paying. Yeah. So I just feel like those nudes have really reduced the versatility in it. But um, it's a beautiful palette. Mm. I would totally pick this up, especially if it's cheaper. And look at the swatches. Look I at know. that red. I, yeah. <gasps> like I See, I don't know. I, I saw those swatches and that red, I was like, oh, I'm getting this. But then I'm like, I look at her other palettes where she swatches them like this they're not that good. They don't fucking perform like that. No. But the colours do look pretty accurate though. Mm. So that tone of red's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, no, they she I think she swatches almost like she destroys the pan. Like she's just like mm. Yeah. Um and then swatches it where it's so overloaded that of course it looks buttery and pigmented <laughs> yeah, of because you've literally dug out it's half got the six pan. Six kilos of eyeshadow on your fingertip. Yeah. yeah. But I know that that's a palette that a lot of people are interested in, and I, I don't blame them. Mm. Another Pride Month release is by Tarte. So we talked about this a little bit in that sort of added in bit last week. Um, they've released a few things for Pride Month. There's the Let It Rainbow Eye Set. This is 24 US dollars. All of this is available now on Tarte and Sephora. Um, so this is an eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Jesse Page. Um, and also a mini mascara. Now, this palette, I think, look, I think Tarte are doing something very non-Tarte. And they're releasing some colourful palettes, mm. which they're finally jumping on the sort of colour trend. But why are there three sort of blues in a rainbow palette? Like, I just feel like they've missed out on a lime green, a forest green. Mm-hmm. Or an aqua, like an in-between. And like the outside of the packaging looks really rainbow. The inside, I don't think it looks as rainbow. There's three blues. You've just released a blue palette. Yeah. And now you need to put more blues in here. Red, orange, yellow, blue, 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 pink, purple. Yeah. Why are there three blues? There are There's... some interesting like looks that they've put on Instagram with this. And I think if you were really interested in Tarte formula and mm. you wanted more colour, it's not bad. I just think they could have tweaked it a little bit. Like, 
to make it an actual rainbow. Um, but this is, like I said, in collaboration with Jesse Page, who is a social media person, and they're donating $25,000 to the Trevor Project. So they are really marketing Pride, 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 but they are trying to give back as well. They've also got the Pride Liquid Chrome Paint Metallic Pigment, 19 US dollars. And so this is like a liquid chrome paint. And then you can also get a stencil kit and a little sponge so you can put it on in little shapes. Um, they've also got the Treasure Pot Glitter Gel in the shade Pride. This is 18 US dollars. Um, so it's like a glittery pink color. So it's like an iridescent pinky sort of color. So it is quite a fun collection and it's very different for, for Tarte. Mm. Tarte, whenever they do go fun, they often go like childish, mm. like fairies and I don't know, Unicorns. light pinks and unicorn yeah. and stuff. So this is probably fun in a more modern way, which mm. is good. Uh, I think it's just could have been a lot better with a few different shades, so it's a bit annoying. Mm. Uh, all right, Two Face. Damn Girl Mascara. Yeah, Damn Girl Right. Take that off. It looks horrendous. Yeah, that looks... That before and after photo, it looks like she's gone from a normal person to someone that's wearing five sets of false lashes. It, it looks like she's used that um, weird mascara that just keeps building on itself. Yeah. It's strange, yeah. So it's launching on the 6th of June uh, and it's going to be Sephora exclusive for the first month and it will retail for $25. You could also sample it um, with a Sephora order. So if you use the code too early on orders over $25, you can get a sample of it. But I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'll try it, but I'm not convinced. No. We've also got an update on their skincare that we've been talking about over the last few months. We've seen like little sneak peeks of um, new skincare to their like hangover range. Um, and we're seeing that it's launching in June. So there's the Too Faced Hangover Good in Bed Hyaluronic Plumping Serum, uh, which is supercharged with dragon fruit and vitamin B5. Uh, and then there's the Anti-Aging Weapon Good to go, which is a SPF uh, 25 moisturizer. That's all launching in June. All right, probably my least favorite subject of the updates. Mm. Um, we've seen the full collection from Trixie Cosmetics. And um, if I had a table, I would be flipping it because mm. I've got no table, thank God. Yeah. Um, it is a lipstick and nine glitters. Yeah, exciting, isn't it? So as we talked about it last week, there's the lipstick in Stacy. This is 16 US dollars. It's a bright uh, pink and it's got a matte finish. Then there's four sparkles. These are eye safe glitters or yeah, glitters. Um, they haven't confirmed yet if these are biodegradable or eco-friendly glitters. They're just eye safe. I doubt they are because uh, I reckon if they were eco-friendly or biodegradable, they they'd would, be like, they're biodegradable. They would praise it, yeah. yeah. So the, these are $10 each and then we've got five sprinkles, which are body and hair glitters. So once again, these are just like... Chunky glitters. Chunky glitters that you can buy off eBay for a couple of dollars. Um, just packaged and sold for 10 bucks. Oh so $10 I, compared to a lipstick for 16 Yeah, it's not good. Um, I think this is... Look, and the funny thing about this as well, they released it um, at DragCon over the weekend mm -hmm. um, and then they delayed the online launch. Oh. So it was supposed to be up, I think, the 29th of May mm -hmm. or the 24th of May, something like that. And they've delayed it saying that you can order it pre-order, but it won't ship until June. Um, so they've delayed the, yeah, the release. Mm. I don't know. I didn't think buying cheap glitter and putting them into pots would no. be that hard, but obviously I'm wrong. Mm. Um, I just think... And a lot of Trixie fans are saying that, you know, what we were saying last week, some people are saying this is on brand for Trixie and that's totally fine. Um, I don't think it is personally. I think it's on brand for drag queens in general, mm. but not Trixie and it's Trixie's brand. Um, and I just feel like it is padding out crap. 
Mm. A few people had uh, theories that they rushed the release to get to DragCon. Right. So instead of going, okay, let's release three lipsticks and an eyeshadow palette, um, let's they were just like, oh, we've got one lipstick ready. We like that formula and that color. Let's just let's pat out glitters that. so we can launch at DragCon. But Jeffree Star launched with three lipstick colors. Yeah. You can launch with one lipstick color if Absolutely. it's your signature color. You don't need to pat out uh, the range with non-biodegradable glitters just because. Um, but in the comments of some of the posts, they have said that, you know, there's more coming and, you know, eyeshadows and stuff coming. But I think this is such a weak first release. It, not it really irritates me. I don't care what you release now. Yeah. <laughs> you lost me. You, you're dead to me. Let's get into new stuff. We're going to start with Beauty Blender. This is called the Beauty Blender Joy. It is a bright yellow beauty blender that is released in time for Pride Month. See, this everyone's trying to mark it on the Pride Month thing. Yeah. And the only reason I can think that this is fits with Pride Month is that finally you can actually get your like rainbow of colors of beauty mm. blenders because yellow's here. But a lot of people have correctly pointed out that yellow was in the Chris a Christmas pack. So yellow's not new, ah. um, but it is new to buying it individually. Ah. Um, it's available now. It's 20 US dollars. A lot of people, like I think I've seen three types of reactions to this. Um, there's either people that are like, Ugh, we don't need another color. What's the yeah. point of this? Um, it does the same thing. Yeah. Or there's people that are saying, yay, I love yellow. I'm glad that this is here. Um, and then there's people that sort of like, oh, this is interesting. Now do another color as well. Mm. So I feel like there's sort of split. Some people are like, what's the point? And other people are like, oh, this is fun. And I'm sort of in the second category, believe it or not. I'm generally a little bit of a pessimist, but um, I don't like bright pink. If I had to only buy a bright <laughs> pink beauty blender, I want variety. Mm. Like, it's not hurting anyone releasing different colors. But I know people are raging about it. I've seen people fucking rage about it. Like, what's the point? This stupid fucking brand. Maybe some people <laughs> like yellow, right? If I was buying a beauty blender, it came down to yellow and pink. I'd pick, pick the yellow. I don't know. Oh, like, God. it's not it's not, it's not hard. I just don't even fucking care. Yeah. I just, this, that's another reaction yeah, as well. I don't don't care. <laughs> uh, okay, BH Cosmetics. We have the Illusion Shadow Palette. And this is a mini. So, I don't know how mini she is. It's hard to tell from these photos because everything's geometric. But um, but it's twelve bucks, so that might indicate good. how mini it is. So it's a collection of gemstone shades, warm neutrals, and soft pastels. In total, it contains ten grams. Okay. So they are They're they little. are little. They're, They're little, little babies. We have two new limited edition shades of the crushed liquid lip from Bobby Brown. There's West Coast Bay and East Coast Slay, and they are done in collaboration <laughs> with influencers. We've got Tenny Panosian. I know I butchered that, and I'm sorry. Uh, and Denise Sanchez. These are interesting colors. Um, mm. I think the names are quite humorous. I actually really like these colors. I think the colors are they really smashed beautiful. smashed them. Bobby Brown, send them to us. Yeah, see, I love... Um, this sort of, I don't know, like peachy brown that color. That is her most immaculate nude. Yeah, like it looks that nude phenomenal on her. literally made for her. And I think it'd be a good nude for a lot of skin tones. Mm. I also love this cool tone Isn't brown. Isn't it beautiful? It's really different, but... Um, it's like a cool tone mid-chocolate. But that's where, like, the going back to the Jaclyn Hill stuff, like... Okay, there are so many options for nudes. Yeah. And sometimes you do, like, if this was presented to you, you'd go, oh, yeah, I'd try that. Mm. But you might go to a brand and go, oh, there's peach and there's pink and there's um, caramel colored, but there's not this. Mm. So there's always room to expand nude. And this is just an example of how beautiful a cool toned, sort of mid toned chocolate brown mm. can look. So I'm into it. I'm I like it. As well. well, well done, done, ladies. Good, good shades. Yeah, I agree. I'm onto that. That's, that's nice. Yep. Then Essie, um, once again, they looks like they're trying to vibe off the Pride Month without mm. overtly saying it, but they have released six new shades of limited edition glazed days, like translucent 
I don't know, fucking jelly, jelly nails. Jelly nails. Jelly nails. Yeah. Now, um, I can't get behind these. Nah, I hate that you can see. Oh, like, all it irritates the... me so yeah. much. Yeah. The only color I think is all right, that's all right is this cherry color, um, because it. I, I like the look of a jelly sort of almost translucent but opaque kind of look and i think mm. this is the only one that semi looks opaque all the other ones look like people have just got i don't know they've just really got food dye on their nails nail polish yeah, yeah. it like oh, it's cringe yeah i'm not really into this um but they're available now aren't they Yes, yeah, they are available. So now. if you do like them, you can go pick them up. If you're that unique person that it suits, yeah, fucking power to you. Enjoy power to you. All right, we've got a new product from Fresh. This is the Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. Mm. Um, so this has already launched. By the time you're watching this, it's thirty three US dollars at Fresh Beauty or Sephora, um, and it is sort of like a daily face scrub with real strawberries smoothing sugar crystals that melt as they polish so it's supposed to be a more gentle exfoliation somehow it's supposed to maintain moisture i just like strawberries i want to eat it yeah i want to eat it um giorgio armani we have the new color sketches so these are jumbo stick lipsticks they're like in a pencil or crayon form and it looks like they're retractable which is cool yeah this is the first time they've done this type of chubby stick product mm. so um it's new for them but the colors are actually really beautiful it's coming in 10 shades um they're going to be 34 euros and launching from 17th of june this sounds like it's in europe, europe. Not sure where it's coming elsewhere, but um, there we go. You can use them as a lip and a cheek color, and they're supposed to have a velvety matte finish. Interesting. Huda Beauty, again, we have some new palettes. So these are the Neon Obsessions palettes. It comes in three shades. You've got green, orange, and pink. Yeah, I... I actually really dig these. Mm. I'm surprised at how much I dig these. Um, I understand that a few people are like, they're not very neon. Um, I think they're neon enough. Yeah. I, I think that what I like about these is that there's a pop of neon, but there's other supporting shades that can... Well, make it wearable yeah or like if you look at the pink one it's not the most wearable color story no but it definitely you can complete looks like i said you've got the highlighter shades you've got the matte shades you've got the bright shades you've got the slightly more muted shades so you can actually complete a look which i think is fantastic and sometimes um in palettes you might have star colors and as long as the colors around it support that star color mm. i'm okay with it being called a neon mm. um but i think this is so left of center and i actually commend huda for doing this um i didn't see this coming from her she actually was the one that i would say uh started the color capsule trend yeah the color blocking palettes yeah so you know she she clearly is ahead of the trend and i didn't see neons coming back right now no but I want these. So she's yeah. done something good. Look, I hate Huda's little obsession palettes because whenever I see them, I want to own every single motherfucking one of them. Like, that, that is a true life goal for me. Except I know I'll never use them. Yes. Um, and I don't love the formula. No, I don't like the formula either. But good God, I want them all. I like, want them all. I want all of her gem obsessions. I want these. Like, I want her really early ones. Oh, yeah. it's a really, like, this is an internal battle that I have every time I go to Sephora and I see these motherfucking palettes from Huda. I'm just like, I agree. Yeah, bitch, stop making everything so cute and attractive to my eyeballs yeah, she does do that i do think that the green one could have had more greens yeah. and maybe even um some maybe more mint colors or something in there because it is looking very taupe but i also like the taupe so i don't hate it mm. um and i like the sort of marketing image that she used i think i want the orange one fuckers yeah i want i, want, I don't know i want them i don't know what's wrong with me so i think the marketing images where she's wearing them 
it shows that they are neon. Mm. Like people can say whatever they want to say, but also neons are really hard to take photos of. So yeah. maybe these are a bit more vibrant in person. Neon, but... glitter, duochrome, multichrome. Don't expect to ever catch that shit on camera. No, easily. cameras don't process no the the look multi-dimensional of them. like no, the intensity it. of color. Camera can't pick that up. No, not unfortunately not. But I just I love these, and even though, like you said, I probably wouldn't wear these much. No, I sort of, I just I sort of want to play with them. I just want I to play with them. This is a cool collab. I love this. So Incredible have hooked up with Batty, and they're doing a collaboration. Um, we've got three products. So we have the Double Perks <laughs> Smoothing Boob Sheet Mask. These are in the shapes of little rainbows with clouds yeah. <laughs> for the boobies. I, I like funny. the idea of a titty mask. I'm going to go home and put sheet masks on my boobs. Oh, good idea. I've got a few sheet masks yeah. to use. I'm yeah, I, well like, do that. I like this idea. Because it's going to be cold. I, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I'll turn the heater on before I do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are, so it's a pack of like twin sheet masks. You get two little sheet masks. For the booby area, I would be very, very, very keen to see how big these are and if they don't discriminate with the big booby ladies because often it's a problem. And I got feel a like, lot to cover. Yeah, and I feel like the big booby ladies are probably the ones that need this really, the most. Really, really need this. So, um... And also, like, how do we... Okay, so they show it like a rainbow. Do you put the rainbow on like this or can you put it under here? It should lift and firm and... Or maybe it does lift by tightening this area and pulls it up. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Be. It's like those stick-on bras. Yes. Someone goes to yes. hug you and they're like, why are you wet? <laughs> I'm treating myself. Look, dolls. We've yeah. got to keep them up. That's true. Because <laughs> uh, once they're down, there's no going back. That's true. There's also a roll-on lip gloss mm. and a highlighter. The highlighter is rad. So this how actually do I has... Want this? Oh, I don't know why I want this too. Um, but in context, if you're not familiar, um, Baddie Winkle is an Instagram account. It's... Um, a, what's a respectful way? A mature way? lady. A mature lady. Who's slaying it? She's an influencer. <laughs> She's so cool. She's... I love her. Yeah. Like, I can't even tell I you. I heard about her a few months ago, and she's she's like a fashion influencer, but, you know, later in life, and yes. she's fucking slaying it. So this collaboration is so fun, and so many people are loving it. So, like, left to center, but really cool. I think this is probably one of the best influencer collabs that I've seen all year. Yeah. I think this is a really smart and playful and a little bit daggy and dated, but totally, totally on point for what it should be. I agree. Like, I love this photo where she is... Um, That's a huge highlighter. Unless she's a tiny lady. We don't know. But she's... it's Like, her face is on the highlighter, yeah. which is totally cool. She's replicating the look here, which is very funny. Um, I agree with you. It's a little bit daggy. Like, the highlighter is fun looking, but it's it's a dorky product. Mm. The roll-on lip gloss is a dated product. So I feel like the dagginess of this is so genius. It's brilliant. I think it's done so well. And for me, it's really put the brand incredible on my radar. We have mm. tried some of their products before, but it's almost like gel highlighter products and, you know gel lip glosses and a little bit gimmicky and yeah. not very everyday practical. So I feel like this is a great thing that they've done because people are interested in this and people that probably have ignored the brand in the past is paying some attention. From experience, I don't think this is going to be the most amazing quality product out there, but it's super fun and, and makeup should be fun. That's so so I'm, I'm so it. down with this. I think they've done it great. From Lana Lips, we have the new Lip Water. So this is a weightless, refreshing lip hydration fluid. Um, they're saying it has a liquid lanolin formula with hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and peppermint. It's non-sticky with an underwater holographic glow. Yeah, that sounds a bit funny. Um, but it is... It's it's pretty much a lip 
serum, mm. like a hydrating lip serum with a little bit of shimmer in it. So I think that sounds pretty fucking rad. Mm. I would totally try this. I do really like Lana Lips. I think they're a great brand and I've tried multiple things of theirs in the past. This is now available at Sephora Australia and in Europe. Um, and it's 23 Australian dollars. And I think that's a fair price for what this is. Mm. It doesn't contain heaps. It's 10 mils, but that's still enough. Yep. And I think in winter, this is a great way to hydrate your lips without it being too over the top sticky and tacky. Yeah. I think this is interesting. I want to see it in store. That's what I want to see. Mm. I think the shimmer would make it look really glossy as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. We've seen a new product coming from Lime Crime. They actually had this free with orders over 40 US dollars um, last weekend. Um, so it was one day only. And this is the Ghost Veil. So it's a new lip primer coming. Um, so this will be coming. But I like the idea that they gave it away with people that were mm. purchasing items and they were having a sale. Um, and so, you know, a lot of their fans would be purchasing and now their fans can test one of their new things, which I thought was cool. That's cool. So yeah, it's not like super exciting, but excellent. There we go. Uh, L'Oreal has a new macaron liquid lipstick collection. So these are retailing for 19.99 us. Uh, and it looks like there's 10 shades, actually. Eight shades. No, seven shades. There's seven new shades. And then they have the, uh, the chocolate, chocolate ones, ones yeah. as well. So if you like the um, infallible matte liquid lipstick formula, you can now get it in seven new shades. Yeah, and they're, so the chocolate ones were more brown toned mm -hmm. and they smell like chocolate. And these ones have more of a variety. So sort of pink toned nudes. Another sort of, I guess, caramel looking nude, coral, orange, pink, berry, and they've got a macaron scent. Mm -hmm. All right. We've seen a sneak peek of new Mac Fix Plus minis that are coming soon. This is supposed to be, I believe, a summer release. So I am so down for this. I want all of these. I hope this comes in a pack. That's all I'm saying. Um, so what we've seen so far is pineapple, white tea, watermelon, and peony. And they have designs on the packaging. They look super rad. I want the watermelon one coming out the wazoo. Didn't we say we wanted a watermelon one in our, if we could collab with Mac? We need to stop giving them ideas. Damn it. They stole it. Damn you bastards. I knew that sounded familiar. Because we said it months ago. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to buy the crap out of this when it comes. Like yeah. I said, hopefully it comes in a pack. Um, hopefully it even comes to Australia. That's true. Mm. It might not. But it's rad. And I have heard whispers that other shades, or other scents are coming too. But I've yeah. seen no evidence of it. I've only seen evidence of these. So there we go. There we go. Uh, we also have new Mac Pro palettes. So these are launching in Mac Pro stores on the 6th of June in the UK. Uh, so we've got a color corrector palette and a full coverage foundation palette. And then the colorful one is the pan stick palette. Cool. So there we go. From NARS, we have a mini wanted eyeshadow palette. So they released their wanted eyeshadow palette, which was, I think 12 shades. Maybe we'll have it on the think. screen. Yeah. Um, and now they have a mini version with six shades. Yeah. They're not double up shades though, are they? I actually think they are. So we can confirm it is just six shades mm. taken from the 12. Yeah. I think palette. so. Boring. You're boring. Anyway, if you want that, it looks like it's available now. It's 26 pounds. All right. Sephora collection have released three new Sephora Pro face palettes. So there's essentially just light, medium, and deep, and they've got highlighters, blushes, bronzers, and contour um, products in there. So exciting. Fun. Okay, last thing YSL. These are the water stains. So these are lip products. They're an all day wet lip look. I want these. Oh, mate. Shit. I want I this red one. Fucking beautiful. Mate, there are some colours in there. When oh. I was making the collages last night, I was like, well, I know where all my money is fucking going. I actually can't find any that I don't want. I know. It really hurts my I feelings. even want the corals and I don't like corals. I even yeah, want I the berry purples and I don't even wear... I want the pink. There's some grey nudes in there oh. that just made me cry. 
YSL. I know. Help a sister out. <laughs> I know, right? So what we've got here are lightweight, effortless water lip colors. So they are meant to tint your lips with a pool of glossy water in one swipe. Uh, 18 shades. They'll be retailing for 37 US dollars each and they're launching in June. Uh, there is a mention that 610 is um, an, a shade that's exclusive to YSL's website, um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It is time to dedicate this episode of Beauty News to a Beauty News VIP, and this week's VIP is Alice. Thank, thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice, for supporting Beauty News, and thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do it. Yes, and if you want to support Beauty News on different platforms, these get turned into a podcast. They do. Check us out. Instagram, we post daily. Mm -hmm. It's a pain in the ass, but we do it for you guys. Yeah. So uh, check out. Those are always linked in the description box. Um, and emoji. So if you've made it to the end and you want to show it in the comments that you've made it to the end, rainbows. There's a go. rainbow week. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to be a big rainbow month in June. So, it will be. Rainbows. Rainbows. All right, guys, that's it for us today. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Um, we're going to start with ABH and Alyssa Ashley. Edwards. Oh. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jackie. See you, see you, see you, feel the same. Oh, what Can't a get you off my mind. <laughs> Jackie, when you're touching my soul in the candlelight. Oh, Jackie. <laughs>